This is Chongqing, one of China's biggest cities with a population of over 30 million people. Chongqing is famous for its 3 H, hot weather, hot girls, but that's not what we're interested in today. Today we're going for the third one, it's hot food. We are going to set out in search of a really, 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 really spicy dish. Yeah. Probably the spiciest we've ever had. It's one of the spiciest dishes in the world actually. It's called the Chongqing Hot Pot. It's a broth made with uh, famous Sichuan peppers that are local here with chilies, with all different kinds of spices. And you basically boil some meat or vegetables or whatever in it. And it's really, really, really spicy. It's really lighting my mouth on fire. Chongqing used to be part of the Sichuan province in China. And Sichuan is the spiciest cuisine in all of the country. And the place, the best place to try a hot pot is actually right here in Chongqing. Because they really make it into a thing. Wherever you go, they always have hot pot restaurants. Really curious to see what it's going to be like. I'm not the biggest fan of spicy food. I'll eat it if it's something like super local because I want to try it but I can do it I can do it <laughs> we're now at the Zhao Shangku street food market it's lined with street food hawker stalls you can find pretty much everything here pork balls but we're here to order just one thing the very spicy hot pot all right so we just received this menu obviously it doesn't have any English on it it's purely Mandarin um, normally it lists all of the ingredients that you can choose from to make your own hot pot. The Mandarin still isn't that good, so I'm gonna try to be my own version of Google Translate. Hot pot? Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Two chicken feet. What is this? Liu <laughs> uh, One. So this is finally starting to make some sense in here. We have discovered like the counter with the toppings or the, the vegetables and the tofu and the fish and everything that you can choose from. Since we can't really communicate well to each other, I just picked some stuff based on what looked good and sometimes what looked a little interesting, let's say. Going to see if Maik agrees with my choices. We finally managed to order a hot pot. Well, it's a hot pot restaurant. <laughs> I think they knew what we were coming for. Uh, they just brought it out here, and there's a gas burner underneath. They put it on. It's very red oil. It's red from the chilies and the Sichuan peppers, all the spices they put into it. Kim has gone inside to choose some of the ingredients. It looks like that's probably beef, some vegetables, chicken feet. What the hell? And I would say that looks like some kind of tripe, probably stomach. The lady just came, they, she just uh, put the vegetables into the hot pot, so they're really boiling. They also brought some garlic, some chives, some uh, cilantro, so really looking good. You need to put that in. Here. It's hot pot seasoning. Ah, okay, okay. This? We gotta try the beef first. Uh oh. It's my beef, I think. It's my beef. It looks so tiny now. You threw it into a pot of boiling liquid. Of course it's tiny. Hmm? That's not my beef, probably. Ginger. It's ginger. Ah, ginger. Oh, there's my beef. <laughs> mm, it's really tender. But oh my god, this is spicy. This is like really proper, proper spicy. I really like spicy food. I'm pretty used to eating spicy, but this really sets my mouth on fire. Oh yeah. I'm gonna love this. A hot pot is not a soup. It's more like a fondue. You just cook everything in the liquid. You're not supposed to drink the liquid. Also, you're not supposed to even touch this. Um, and just sitting here is actually making my, my throat a little bit irritated and my eyes tear up just a little bit because there are so many of these peppers in here. It's the, the scent that's coming off. It smells really good, but it also smells and feels super spicy. Oh my god. 
Hey, how hasn't even been in there that long. Mm. It's really lighting my mouth on fire. And it's numbing everything from my cheeks to my to Oh my god. That is so spicy. It's good though, it tastes good and the meat is really good in like texture. This is gonna be an interesting meal. What is in this hot pot and why is it so spicy? There are quite a few different spices in here. You have these chilies in there, a lot of them. You have some ginger in there, I'm trying to fish out a piece of ginger here. And then what really gives this hot pot its spice, these small little bowls are Sichuan peppercorn. So it's not really the chili that makes it spicy, it's this little devil right here. But there are a bunch of them in there. If you like take the, take the spoon and scoop it up from below in the bowl, you'll see that all of it is basically like chili, peppercorn, all of it. The entire bowl is full of them. It's still China, so they eat some pretty weird stuff. We asked around what the locals eat, one of the things are chicken feet. It looks really weird to be honest. I mean, Because it has the nails and everything. Yeah, it smells the nails and everything. It looks really weird. It looks like it's not going to be very nice in terms of texture and the way it is, but I'm gonna try it anyway. It's a bit greasy. I mean, the skin is pretty greasy. It's mostly just skin, so you can see here's the bone already. And here's just like a very, very small layer of meat. And then you have the skin there. It doesn't taste too bad actually, it tastes like chicken. What you would expect from chicken. Yeah, tastes like a greasy version of chicken. It tastes pretty good, I like it. So, what's the verdict? <coughs> I thought the beef was spicy. The beef had only been in there for like two minutes. This has been in there for like a good 15 minutes. It's weird. I think you're right. That's like tripe or yeah. Stomach. It's stomach. Yeah, it looks like stomach. <laughs> now it's time for the weirdest stuff. We already had the chicken feet, but they also eat lots of tripe with it. As always, Kim is the guinea pig trying out new things. And it's like biting or like a sponge. Oh, yeah. That doesn't sound appetizing at all. Very spicy sponge. Oh my god. Alright, now it's my turn to see if I can stomach this stomach. I don't know, it, I, I, it doesn't taste. It tastes pretty good actually. But it doesn't taste that special, but I kinda like it. It feels like the spice is spreading all over my body. I'm sweating, like sweating, my nose is running. And yet you continue. Oh yeah, I'm not giving up. Surprisingly, that was actually a very cheap hotspot. Yeah. It only cost us 84 yuan, which is about 10 and a half euros, 11, 12 dollars. Just five euros per person for all the things that we ate. We ate meat, cow stomach, lots of vegetables, some other meats. Very, very affordable. Had some Included tea. some tea with it, so. Yeah. Can't complain about it. Yeah. Mouth is still like a little bit numb, yeah, but yeah, yeah. it was a really nice experience. I mean, it's an experience yeah. eating it. I think that was it for today. Next stop, we are going to Zhangjiajie. Probably I'm pronouncing it wrong, but hey, that's how you write it. Without a doubt. And you will know that because it is the basis for the crazy scenery in the insane landscapes in the Avatar movie. Yeah. So that is the real life landscape on which Avatar was based, Avatar Mountains. So that is going to be in the next one. Um, so we'll see you in the... If you like this video, <laughs> if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Um, and make sure to subscribe to follow the rest of our journey. Chinese people can be so loud sometimes. Um, anyway, make sure to subscribe to follow the rest of our journey and we will see you in the Avatar Mountains. Have a nice day. Bye bye.